Katrina is a constant reminder. I'm reminded of Katrina every time I wake up and I'm not where I'm supposed to be and my dad is not here. I honestly, after my daddy died, I really felt like I just don't have nothing to live for. Like that was all I had. And now since he gone, I don't need to be here. Experiencing disaster and then coming into a school where everyone doesn't like you and they think it's funny to make fun of the fact that you lost everything had me really numb at the time. I felt like I wasn't seen, you know, but it was a nightmare and this was real and I was real and I was still a child, you know, but we didn't have that support at all. Because of Katrina, I lost family, I lost hope, and I lost memories. I lost my father, which was my everything. I lost my innocence. I lost the opportunity to grow and mature. I was forced to grow up. The hardest part was me not knowing where my parents were. And the hardest part was dealing with the aftermath after Katrina. What people don't understand is that kids are emotional and they hold a lot inside and they don't know ways to express themselves. What people don't understand when you're a kid is that catastrophe is, is out of your control. It's up to the adults, it's up to the government, it's up to society to make everything right. 10 years later, I'm still confused as to, I guess, why, why, why people didn't care. 10 years later, I still believe that things can change for the better. When a disaster happens, what a child needs is a support system, someone who will back them up. Somebody to be there. 